Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. When this scuba diver needed his cylinder tested, he didn't trust the, uh, the test centre uh, that would actually do the job. So he decided to put them to the test. Ooh, lots of testing words yeah. in that one. <laughs> Again, I didn't write this one. Uh, on the, any normal visual or hydrostatic test, oh, it, oh no, that didn't end there, sorry. On any normal visual or hydrostatic test, uh, the valves are removed and the inside of the cylinder is inspected for any signs of you know, corrosion or other problems. This diver didn't believe that they would actually do this test, so he inserted a couple of packets of ketchup I hope they were quality Heinz. I think they were, yeah. Quality Heinz ketchup, obviously. Uh, you know, just to see if the, you know, the dive test, uh, the dive sensor would actually notice them in his cylinder. They did not. <coughs> um, their cylinder was returned to them with the ketchup packets still inside. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this now sparks two different debates. The first being how awful the test center is for not actually performing a basic safety test on their cylinder. Uh, and also, don't put stuff inside your cylinder. It's, uh, not even air. Can you imagine how hard it would be to get a ketchup packet through? Well, the, the video itself is like two minutes long. And about a minute and a half of them is just trying to get the ketchup out. So literally, uh, sorry, you've got about five guys holding it up so then one guy can, because it's so heavy. Uh, so yeah, don't put stuff inside of your cylinder to check if the center is actually doing their job because it's just gonna be a pain in the backside to get it out and many test centers agree. So aside from the fact that the test center didn't actually do their job, the only thing that a test center should find inside a cylinder is a little snorkel. Yeah, you know at the bottom of valves, you get that little tube. Oh, okay. That's called a snorkel. Sometimes okay. that comes free. Okay, yeah, so uh, the final snorkel from the bottom of the valve that sometimes you know, comes loose. Some test centers are now adding lines uh, in their paperwork uh, where you'll become liable so your fault, uh, and could face an additional fine should they find any foreign objects inserted in your cylinders. I said cylinders there, guys. Uh, in an attempt to test them because it will take a surprising amount of time to remove something like a ketchup package from a hole in a cylinder. Unless it's the previous story where the cylinder's got lots of holes. <laughs> so just imagine that and it's just <laughs> ketchup. Uh, yeah, because if they pressurized it, What's gonna to happen to the ketchup packet? Oh. Uh, so most of the concern is that in checking if your test has been, has been done, means that you have to unscrew the valve and then screw it back in without proper equipment or torque, and it could damage the threads. It's, yeah, because if you over torque it, you're just gonna stretch the threads, and if you under torque it, bad things as well. Yay! Uh, so now this less than scientific test, um, I believe took place in Spain, uh, but that's not confirmed. Um, but here in the UK, if you're not convinced that your test center is actually doing the job, then you can ask for the test results. Um, they, they won't be very exciting and they'll probably have to be explained to you. Um, <laughs> It, it's all about the amount of expansion, it, yeah, exactly. Uh, but if you don't trust a place will do the job, then why you don't go there in the first place? Yeah, do your research first. Just go somewhere else. Go on Google, go what's their starring, what people said. So yes, it's good that this diver has exposed the center for not doing basic checks. However, I hope it doesn't spark others to do the same thing and put random things in their cylinders. Because if you thought it took a long time, you know, long enough to test your cylinders now, imagine the waiting time if they have to fish up Beanie Babies, Kinder Egg, and Kinder Egg toys from the cylinder. Yeah, they can get in actually, they're quite small. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's why I all, chose All the Matchbox cars. Yeah, they can go in there. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, just, just, just don't, just don't shove stuff in there basically. That's what because, I'm going to say. Because one of the main tests you get go and no-go gauges on the threads. And if you're jamming stuff in and it damages the threads, then your cylinder is completely dead, just gets thrown on the scrap heap. If you can do it, put slime in there. Don't put slime in put there. Put slime in there. And also, if they're trying to hook it out, they'll get like a metal coat hanger and try and like hook things out, but then they'll risk damaging Scraping. the threads again. It's just, stop it. It's, I get it, but, that there are better ways to test your dive sensors. No. 
<coughs> but of course, what do I know? I've only been in this industry my entire professional career. Um, what do you guys think? How can we be sure that a test center is actually testing our cylinders and not just stamping them and taking our money? Um, Regulate, I guess you'd have the people come down to take a look at them. I mean, we do in the UK. Um, I don't know what it's like around the world. Why not? Because I, I haven't lived in America or Europe or anywhere else. You technically do live in Europe <coughs> now, for a couple of months anyway. For a little bit longer. Um, the next line says that my twin set is in test right now. It's not because I picked it up on Saturday. Did it they pass? Did. It did pass. Did you, and you put mustard down there, didn't you? Mustard <laughs> yeah, mustard packets. Mustard packets. <coughs> they cleared it. If well, you enjoyed this video, then click the little like button so my monthly report looks better than previous months. You do uh, reports. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to see more videos like this and of course the new bell icon so you can get an email whenever we upload a video. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.